Hey everybody, I'm Katie Allen, founder and creator of Artful Agenda. Today I want to show you guys a tutorial on all the different Artful Agenda features. When you open your planner, you see the month view. One of the things I loved about paper planners was choosing a beautiful cover. So I love that in Artful Agenda, I can customize my cover to my mood or the season. To select your cover, click this middle button in the top right corner and select Choose Cover. Then just use the arrows to scroll left and right and select your favorite one. To return to your monthly calendar at any time, click the Artful Agenda logo. Go back to the calendar styling button to choose your handwriting. If you have a couple of different calendars syncing like me, you're definitely going to want to customize your calendar colors. To do so, just click the calendar icon in the top right corner and click the arrow next to the color you would like to change. For example, I have my calendar from work syncing, so I'm going to change that to blue. To hide a calendar, just click the colored box and it will disappear from your view. If you click Manage Calendars, this is where you can see all the different calendars you're syncing with. You can choose your default, which will be the one all of your events sync to, unless you select something different. If you want to remove one, just click the gold check mark, and if you want to add a calendar, go to Manage Calendars. Going back to the home screen. To create an event, just click on the day. Then you can name it, give it a location, and even color code it. You can also include descriptions, links, and invite your friends. If your event isn't all day, simply unclick the all day button and set it for the correct amount of time. Then click save. You can also drag it to a different date if needed. If you have a repeating event, you can create that too. For example, my daughter has gymnastics every week. I'm going to put it on my family calendar, add a location, click repeat, then save. To set goals in the month view, just click here and start typing. You can check them off here to cross them off or uncross them, and you can also use this trash can to delete them. So next I'm going to show you guys the weekly and daily views. If we select the tab for week view, you can see that your events translate over. On each day, there's a space for priority tasks and meal prep. So here, I can set my focus for the day, and if I don't complete a priority item, I can drag it to the next day. Then, underneath, I can plan out my meals for the week. And of course, don't forget, we have stickers, so I'm going to drag one in right now. Now if I switch to day view, you can see everything carries over once again and that it has many of the features of a paper daily productivity planner. If you want to change the time of your event, you can drag it into the new spot. And if it's at the same time as another event, you can stagger the two. Here you can see your priority tasks and then focus in on other things you have going on throughout your day. If you have a task that you'd like to move up to priority, you can just drag it using the check mark. If you don't complete a task, you can use the snooze feature to move it to a future date. This custom list is whatever you want to make it. You can edit the title and turn check marks on or off. Also, here's your water tracker so you can keep your water intake on track throughout the day. Now the last portion I wanted to show you is a place to keep your lists. You can make this whatever you need it to be, but it really is the feature that makes this your all-in-one go-to application. So if you click this arrow here, you can see all your lists by title. To start a new list, click this page icon. Then you can title it here. So I'm going to title mine Chore List. You can choose your color, font size, and everything right here and use it to create the list the way you want it. Use check marks, bullets, or numbers, anything that helps you feel organized. If you'd like to assign it to a specific day, just click here and choose a day. If you want to delete it, just hit the trash can button here. 
All right, everybody, that's all for my general overview today. I hope you guys feel more familiar with the app and I can't wait to hear how it inspires all of you.